place here in West Kelowna. Trevor Miller here with you on the Warriors broadcast network and on Flow Hockey. What an outstanding hockey game tonight for the West Kelowna Warriors who come away with a victory 5-4. The final score in overtime as we get a look back on the goals and what happened in this hockey game and it started off 25 seconds into the contest Nathan Mackey his third goal of the playoffs right in front redirecting a shot from the blue line from Marcus Broberg Broberg put the shot on for the left point Mackey tips it home up and over the blocker's shoulder of Matthew Delarusso. Patrick Raftery would draw an assist as well 25 seconds into the game Salmon Arm led 1-0 after one period before West Cologne was able to get their way back into the hockey game. Jackson Kier Costas at the side of the net. His third goal of the playoffs from Landon Hillich and Johannes Lockberg. Lockberg stopped up into the right circle for a shot by Hildich. Stopped the rebound on the blocker's side. Kier Costas put it home at 4:57 to make it a 1-1 hockey game. The Warriors got their first lead of the game at 10:45. Felix Caron from the corner with a pass to the left wing and Jack Pridham on a one-timer past the blocker side of Eli Pulver. Sixth goal of the playoffs for Pridham at 10:45 from Caron and Trent Wilson, and that gives the Warriors a 2-1 lead at that point. But just under two minutes later. It's J.J. Montero, his second goal of the playoffs. After Jonah Agarder from the left side made a move to get out to the midpoint. Threw a puck toward the front of the net. Montero redirects it home right at the front of the goal. A nice deflection by the Salmon Arm forward. Montero second from Agarder at 12:31. That tied the game at two before the Warriors got another shorthanded goal. And it came from their shorthanded specialist. Vigo Nordstrom, his third shorthanded goal of the playoffs, his fifth overall at 13.55, weaving his way along through the slot into the left circle and throwing a puck cross body past the glove side of Eli Pulver. That gave the Warriors a one goal lead into the third period. They added to that on a bouncing puck in front. Jack Pridham, second of the game, seventh of the playoffs at 7.18 on a puck that he knocked down just in the slot, bounced away from Karan to give it back along for Pridham who put it up and over the glove shoulder of Pulver. Under a minute later, though, Salmon Arm came back and got the game within one on a feed to the front of the net that handcuffed the defender in Jack Farrell, and it's Cole Cooksey at the front of the goal, showing off great hands at the front of the net. Cooksey taking the loose puck, getting to his forehand, back to his backhand, past the glove side of Delarusso at 8-11. That made it a 4-3 game before Salmon Arm tied the game late in the third period with 13.41 to go on a rebound in front and it's J.J. Montero on the glove side of Delarusso as Montero, second of the game, is third of the playoffs on the rebound off the shot from Nathan Mackey right in front. Cole Cooks, he got an assist as well. Then we go to overtime and 2.09 into the extra frame. Carter Oakenfold, his first goal of the postseason. It's a big one. It ties the series at one. Oakenfold taking over a loose puck in the left wing corner that was overskated by Nathaniel Davis. Nice move in tight to go to the backhand. Past the glove side of Eli Pulver. The Warriors win it. 5-4 the final score. An overtime victory on home ice for West Kelowna. They will go to Salmon Arm with a series tied. One game apiece. And will actually give us a week to market a game. For game five on Friday night here in this building. Which is something this team has not liked to do. Over the course of the playoffs so far. As we're joined by...